Our Pearls of Life communities have flourished since we've adapted and taken on these lifestyle choices. Everyone wants to live like this. This is not about dementia care. This is about a way of living for human beings that's a good life and bringing this into memory care. And this is a place where it happens. Montessori originally was an educational system developed by a physician, Maria Montessori. She decided the best way to enable and educate was to create individuals who were self-sufficient, confident, and able to make decisions about their own lives. I think I'll wear this. Okay. So the Montessori approach emphasizes learning by doing. It's usually as a caregiver, you want to do everything for them because you are a caregiver, but ultimately it's better for them to have those first steps to take that chance and you can see their potential. Oh, well, they're going to be doing it. Well, yes, that's great because what they do for themselves, that empowers them. So you feel good about yourself, that you did it yourself, you know? Whatever we need to provide to allow those strengths and those treasures within the resident to come out, we provide them and we're trained to know and be able to um, identify them. Maria Montessori had a phrase. She said, when the environment supports the person, enables them to use their abilities and diminish their disabilities, a process comes into the world and she called it normalization. It is our duty to create normalizing environments for persons with dementia. We have activity committee meetings because we want our resident input. If we're planning what they're gonna be doing, we want to know what they want to do. They get to choose what outings they're going on. Italian or ranch? At meal times, we're making sure to offer that real-time choice. Would you like a preference of whatever meal option that we're offering. Residents contributing to taking care of the garden, being those caregivers in that way, contributing to setting up for lunch as well. It's a big part of the community and I think that really puts meaning behind those activities as well as just the relationships that they form in that community. Pete, when he first came in, of course there's that initial change, different surrounding, different environment. Another resident embraced him, showed him around the community, and made him feel at home. Seeing him from the original kind of timid, to now he wants to be involved, he wants to participate. I always can look to him to, to help uh, in any activity, and, and he's really thriving and, and taking ownership. Through Montessori lifestyle, I think he really got to flourish and make those connections with a bunch of neighbors, and now he's um, helping them come out of their shells as well. Every single day we witness residents who now have purpose, have dignity, have the respect from their peers. We're talking with them not from a caregiver to a resident anymore. We're now talking to them as family, as a community. Our staff members are no longer staff members. They are part of that community and they take that role very seriously. And our residents don't see us any longer as oh, that's just my CNA, It's that's my friend. I believe it totally because I've seen it, because I've talked to family members who say things like, I did not know that they could still do these things. And they have changed and changed so much for the better being able to be here in this place. <laughs>